What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, let's talk about the most efficient way of farming crystals in the game. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. As you all know, we don't really have any ongoing events right now in the game. The next event that will be coming this month is the racing event which will be launched on August 15. Nice. So we still have one week before that event kicks off. As of right now, the only thing that the players are currently doing are the daily activities, which is quite boring and repetitive, especially when there are no ongoing events. That's so true. That is the reason why I decided to make this video, because up until now, I still receive a lot of questions about which life skill is the most efficient life skill to use in farming crystals. Interesting. So now, in this video, we are going back to the basics of the game. Currently, there are three life skills that are used to farm crystals in the game. These are the gardening, mining, and fishing life skills. And the most frequently asked question about these three life skills is that, what is the most efficient life skill to farm crystals? So I decided to make a breakdown of these three life skills used in farming crystals in the game. Thank you! In the first column, I will call this as the stamina consumption. As you all know, the stamina consumption for these three life skills are different from each other. The mining skill uses only 2 stamina per hit, while the fishing skill uses 10 stamina per hit, and the gardening skill uses 20 stamina per hit. From that column alone, you can already see which life skill consumes stamina a lot faster. On to the next column, which I will call the accuracy column. In this column, this is where I will indicate which life skill gives more accurate materials per hit. What do I mean by that? Let me use the mining life skill as an example. Every time you do the mining life skill, you don't really get the exact material that you need. For example, I want to get a lot of rough aluminum while mining. The main problem with that is that you can't really target a specific material while mining. Every hit that you do, you will get a random material. Uncle Roger said now. Like a rough radicon, a rough bradium, and so on. So this life skill has a random tag in the accuracy column. Because the items that you get are random mining materials. Same with the fishing life skill. You cannot select a specific fish to catch while fishing. So there are times where you will get a random fish from that area. The only thing that a player can do to increase the chances of catching a specific fish is through the use of fishing baits. These fishing baits can be bought in an NPC in Alberta using your Zenny. Although, even if you are using fishing baits, it doesn't mean that you will get a 100% accuracy. For example, if I use my fishing life skill 100 times to get an ember fish without using a fishing bait, chances are 
I will only get a 40 to 50% success rate in getting that ember fish. So that will be around 40 to 50 ember fish in 100 tries. Oh, come on! The rest of the fish are the slow moving materials in the exchange center. But if I use a fishing bait, there is a chance that the success rate will go up to around 70 to 80%. Take note that the fishing bait will not guarantee a 100% success rate. Aww. So the chances of getting a random fish is still there. Are you kidding me? And again, I will tag this in the table as a random accuracy since even if we are using a fish bait, we cannot fully remove the possibility of getting a random fish. Emotional damn it! Also take note that the percentages that I've discussed are all estimates and may vary depending on your luck while doing the fishing life skill. Moving on to the third life skill in the game, this is where everything changes. Because in gardening, you have a 100% success rate in collecting the specific plant that you want. Sana all. <laughs> you might still get random gardening materials, but that is just a bonus to the specific plant that you are collecting. So I will be tagging this in our table as a 100% success rate in the accuracy column. Now, if we look at our table, I think it is fairly obvious which life skill is the most efficient in terms of collecting materials that can be sold in the exchange center. Obviously, the gardening life skill is a bang for your buck because every stamina that you consume is equivalent to the specific plant that you are planning to sell. Wow! As compared to the other two life skills, wherein there is a chance that you will get a different material in return. Aww. However, that is not yet the end of our table. Wait! There's more! We still have two more columns to add. To really determine if the gardening life skill is the most efficient skill for farming crystals. The third column is about the availability of these skills. What do I mean by that? The first two life skills Specifically, the mining and fishing can be done at any time, meaning there are no schedules or time limits when mining and fishing Nice. as compared to the gardening life skill, which has a specific schedule and time limit. Aww. For example, if I want to gather the firefly grass, which is one of the most bought items in the exchange center, I can only gather this item every 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and so on. There is a specific schedule when gathering this gardening material. At the same time, there is also a time limit while doing so. For example, from 7 a.m. to 7.40 a.m. is the gardening window for this material. Once you exceed the time limit, you will have to wait for the next gardening schedule. So if you look at the table, I will tag the two life skills as any time in the availability column and use the schedule tag for the gardening life skill. Moving on to our last column, which I will name as action. This is where we will identify if the life skill needs to have a manual or auto function in the game. So for the mining life skill, this is an auto mechanic in the game. The players cannot manually use the mining life skill. For the fishing life skill, the player can either do the fishing manually or they can use an auto fishing rod to automatically catch the fish. So we can tag this as auto slash manual. And for the third life skill which is the gardening, we can only collect plants manually in the game. So this will be tagged as manual. Now that we have covered all the columns in the table, this is where the discussion changes. Obviously. The gardening life skill is still the most efficient way for farming crystals in the game. But if we had to consider the time and effort that it needs, this is where some players might have a different opinion towards this topic. Because as you all know, some players in the game are probably working, studying, or doing some IRL stuff. So if we take those things into consideration, some players might prefer to do the fishing or mining instead of the gardening life skill. That's so true! So again, it all boils down to the player's preference. At the end of the day, we are only playing a game. It is more important to prioritize the stuff that we do in real life. 
And that's it for today's video. What is your favorite life skill to use in farming crystals? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG! You're a superhero.